Hi, so there was some questions that were asked to me in the comments and it was dealing with interpretation of the Bible and they were saying that scholars, biblical scholars, can't agree whether Jesus is God or not. And then there was also another uh, question which comes up a lot is whether God, Jesus is God and did he ever claim to be God? So I'm going to start with the first part which is interpretation. So I was reading through Genesis and I came across the story with Joseph where the baker and the food taster were both thrown in prison and both of them had dreams. But before this, Joseph was known to have interpreted dreams and he also had dreams. Um, and this is why he was sold into slavery, saying that his brothers and his father would come and bow down to him and they hated him for this. So the brothers made it look like he had been killed by a wild animal. And they threw him in a while first, and then they decided um, through Ju Judah's, um, or Reuben, I can't remember, his advice to sell him into slavery when they saw a band of people coming across, coming that way. And so he ended up in Egypt, and he was falsely accused by Potiphar's wife for making some kind of inappropriate um, advances towards her, which she actually made were a false accusation because she was doing that to him. So anyway, he was thrown into prison and these two men were thrown in with him. And the one had a dream about birds coming and eating the baker, eating bread off of the top of his head. And so Joseph interpreted this dream. He, when they came to him, he said, we have dream dreams, but we don't understand the meaning. There's none to interpret it. And Joseph said, does not interpretation belong to the Lord? And so then they told him the dream and he interpreted for the bake he got hung and the other, the food taste, I think he was um, let go free. So eventually after some time, Pharaoh had dreams and Pharaoh's dream was of fat cows and skinny cows. And I think he had two dreams or something. And the, this was to be about seven years of plenty and seven years of famine. And so Joseph was called out of the prison to come to interpret the dreams. And because he'd done this, he was then given a high position, which led about to his brother and brothers and fathers all coming to um, Egypt and bowing down to him as his dream um, as his dream was when he was younger. So this was the thing is that interpretation belongs to the Lord. So the person said many biblical scholars can't agree on interpretations. And this is the thing is many people who maybe study the Bible um, don't aren't born again. They don't have the Spirit of God to help them interpret the Scripture. And there's many people who are not born again believers who study the Scriptures. So G Jesus accused the Jews. He said, you study the scriptures and they speak of me, yet, you know, you couldn't recognize me when I came. Um, and so, and also people will also study the scriptures or even use the Bible to make money because when it comes to things of eternal value, when it, this is where things really count. Is this true or not? And so obviously when you're going to be controversial or something like that, you're probably going to, if the more provocative and controversial you can be, um, the, probably the more money you're going to make. Um, so Jesus chose, he didn't choose the scholars of his day. He didn't go to the Pharisees or the scribes. He, His own disciples had biblical knowledge, but he chose the common people and even criminals and or people who were looked at as kind of criminal and sinners, prostitutes, tax collectors, people who are not looked as as biblical scholars, fishermen. Um Paul was a biblical scholar, and he did study at the feet of Gamaliel, um, but he was a born-again believer. So that there's the difference, is that he missed the point in the first, and when he came to faith, he understood. Um, so, this is, so this is the next question, did Jesus claim to be God? So I was walking with praying, and I was thinking about the last video I made, where I ended with, that you can't, have a moral judgment in the naturalistic worldview and I described this lioness that was eating her cubs. She ate the head off actually. Um, and then there was another video I watched of this young elephant who just killed a buffalo. He just um, trampled him and 
poked him and jabbed him till he died. And you just, everyone in the comments was like, wow, I can't, it's so gruesome, it's so horrible. The people who were filming it said, oh, that's horrible. And it is, you know, but this is the natural world. Um, there's this kind of brutality. That is what some might call survival of the fittest, so to say. But if we uh, we don't bring our human morality to that and say, oh, you know, um, we, 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 we wouldn't be able to say that it was right if a human did that. And that's what survival of the fittest is actually pushing. So um, while I, I made this video about who Jesus was to define my God, my God, I am, who is the great I am. And I was walking with the and I was looking at the light and the Bible describes God as I am this, I am that, I am, I am your sustainer, your your bread of life, all these things. And so the name that, so I'm going to just read what I wrote. It says, did Jesus claim to be God? God in the Bible is described as the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So, and then in the scriptures it says, let us, so this is a plural, make man in our image. If Jesus said, I am the name given to Moses at the burning bush when he asked who he should say, he sent him, when asked, show us the, uh, so this is the thing, is like, this is the name that God gave to Moses when he said, who should I say sent me? And he says, I am, has sent you. Um, and then when asked, when Jesus was asked, show us the father by Philip, Jesus says, have I been with you so long, Philip? And you still do not know me. Jesus is the image of the invisible God. He is God the Son. Um, he referred to God the Father. Father, he cannot, um, as Father, he cannot say I am God singularly. So this was what I was thinking, is that when Jesus Christ became a man, something new had happened. Um, he was the only begotten Son of the Father. But there's something that had never occurred before where God became a man. This was a sign that was given by the prophet Isaiah. And the promise was fulfilled in the, the Garden of Eden that God would send a savior. But the scriptures also say that God is our savior. So Jesus essentially has to be God if he is not contrary to the, what the scriptures say. Um, so Jesus doesn't say, I am God in a singularity or deny his own oneness with the Father, he cannot say we are gods because the basis, one of the the ground things that the Jews would say is, Hear, Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Um and so if he said I am God, that would have they wouldn't have comprehended that. Um so even when Jesus asks his disciples, Who do you say that I am? They say the Christ, you are the Christ. Um, and Jesus replies and says, Blessed you are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father which is in heaven. So some things are revealed by the Father to the disciples. Um, and when he asked the disciples, who do who do who do people say that they say that I who do you say that I am? They said they People say you are a prophet or you are John the Baptist. And he said, who do you say that I am? Um, okay, so Jesus didn't say I am God singularly or deny his oneness. So he didn't deny that he was not one with the Father. He says I and, and the Father are one. Uh, he cannot say we are gods either. This is idolatry. He says we are one. I and the Father are one. He is Which means he is actually claiming to be God. But the people in this time wouldn't have wouldn't have been able to fully comprehend all of this because essentially they did not fully they hadn't understood. I mean, even King Herod uh, wanted to know where the Messiah was born. He had to go and ask somebody else. Um, these things were still kind of hidden um, without voluntary, without violating the oneness of God. So he's claiming to be God. Jesus was claiming to be God without violating the oneness of God. He didn't say, I am God and, and God the Father is God in the sense of there are three gods. And this is one of the reasons why the concept of the Trinity, I don't disagree with it because the scriptures do speak about these three are one. Um, but when it comes to using that term specifically, it's often very misunderstood. 
by let's say Muslims who speak specifically about the oneness of God or even those who are following rabbinicism that also can't comprehend that even though within the old covenant um, there are appearances of Christ within the old covenant he is Melchizedek who appears to Abraham God shows himself in the flame and in the cloud um, and the spirit of God is also mentioned within the old covenant and the messenger of the Lord is also mentioned and this is Jesus Christ so there's no there isn't really a problem um, in the old covenant with this and there are some people who've become believers from rabbinicism who also I read a book on this and they show these things up they call it Metatron instead of um, Trinity um, so then the Father, the Spirit, and the Son. So I said what he is claiming to be God without violating the oneness of God, the Father, the Spirit, and the Son. He also does not forbid worship. He did this. If he did, this would make him less than God. He was not, um, if he was not God and was worshipped, he was then rightly f crucified. So I think it was... Um, they were the disciples worshipped worshipped him on a few occasions. The one that comes to mind right now is Thomas, who says, "My Lord and my God." After he puts his after Jesus says, "Put your finger in the wounds of my hands and your hand in my side," he go falls to the ground and says, "My Lord and my God." Um, and also, I think after Jesus comes the storms, they worship him. So it says because he was accused. So Jesus was. Um, crucified because they said you being a man have made yourself God so it says because he was accused of you being a man have made yourself God only God can forgive and also that God can forgive sin so I'm going to go through the scriptures now um, the Pharisees said who makes who makest thou thyself they were asking the question tell us plainly they asked Peter confessed he was this oh no this one I, I haven't looked it up the Christ the son of um, Okay, so wait, God, let me just see what I wrote. Oh, and then I just said, God is not distant. He's become a father to all who believe in Jesus Christ. He is the husband to his people. He has come nigh. He showed himself in the cloud and the fire in the old covenant. And now he has shown himself in Jesus Christ who died for us. So this is the thing is that in the old covenant, he, uh, there's a scripture that says, you will no longer call me Baal. You will no longer call me like my lord but you will call me ishi my husband that when jesus christ became a man um he took on flesh he became he can really be now like the husband of his bride um he's not a god that is far away so to say um or this kind of scary god that that the israelites said when they heard the thunders at the mount sinai you know speak to moses instead of us because they were so terrified um so these were some scriptures that i wrote down it says but my father god became um so yeah i already mentioned that god became a father the father of jesus jesus was the word of god that became flesh john 14 8 to 18 philip said to him lord show us the father and we will be satisfied jesus said to him have i been with you a so long time and you do not know me yet philip he that has seen me has seen the father how sayest thou show us the father jesus is god in the flesh the image of the invisible god before abraham was i am so jesus also says when they come to find him he says um who we're we looking for jesus of Nazareth? he says i am he and it says art thou greater than our father abraham which is dead and the prophets are dead who makest thou thyself this is john eight fifty three. he's been accused by the jews of claiming to be god and he says if i honor myself my honor is nothing it is of my father it is my father that honoreth me of whom you say he is your god Yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And if I should say I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his saying. Your father, Abraham, rejoiced to see my day. And he saw it and was glad. 
faith before Abraham was I am. Oh, he, he says, before Abraham was, I am. So there he's again claiming the name of God. And they took up stones to cast at him. So this is the thing is, when you ask someone, who are you? They give you the name. And so Jesus is saying, before Abraham was, I am. He's giving, he's giving his name. He's making an identification with God with the name of God when you have lifted up the son of man then you shall know that I am he and that I do nothing of myself but as my father have taught me I speak these things it is written in your law the testimony of two men is true I am one that bears witness of myself and the father that sent me birth bears witness of me why doth this man speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? So this was another thing. So Jesus here is saying that he's not testifying of himself, but there's two witnesses here. So they have to, if they deny Christ's word, they have to deny God's word. But Jesus is the, the word of God, um, incarnate, made flesh. Um, and, it is, and yet those two witnesses agree. They are one in a sense. They are both in agreement. So this also accuses, accusation why does this man speak blasphemies jesus healed a, a man who was lame and he, he said take up your bed and walk and then they they were like oh who can your sins are forgiven i think he says and then they said but who can forgive sins but god and here they can recognize who is this guy you see and the son of man hath power to forgive sins so he's already saying the son of man has power so he says um, that God is the Father has given all judgment to the Son, and He has given Him power to do these things. Also, when they ask Him, by which authority do you do these things? They want to know who are you? How do you do these things? Who's given you this authority to do it? When He went into the the temple, He calls it His the house of His Father's house, um, which has been made a den of thieves, and He tosses over the tables. And they want to know, you know, how can you do those things? Who's given you the right? You see, but he is the son, and this is where this is a fascinating thing is that there's this relationship of father and son. Um, I am Jesus says, and he's certain describe. Oh, yeah, Jesus say, says, and his create. I am Jesus says, and his creation describes him, speaks of him as an artist's creation speaks of them or their idea so i was looking up the word god and it says an the ultimate reality or something divine something worthy of worship and this is the thing is we are living in within the reality that god has created and within the creation that god has made he has spoken to us through his creation and this is called general revelation and so Romans says that no one is without excuse because the things that have been made are evidence of of God who has made everything out of things that are unseen. Um, and so people want to suppress the truth um, through, it says, their wicked or wicked heart or wicked mind. Um, so yeah, the, like I've said before, a rock is created so we can know when Jesus says, I am the rock of your salvation. We can understand that. We know what a firm foundation is. Um, we know that bread can give life through food. When we eat it, he is our sustenance. And then there were examples given when the children of Israel were given this manna, this bread from heaven that they lived on and it was enough for them. Christ is enough. He is sufficient. He is all sufficient. Um, so I, I think that I'm going to stop there. I hope it was clear and useful. And a blessing to ever might um, listen to this. May you all have a lovely day. Appreciate it.